Dashboard full of warning lights. Don't rush to the mechanic just yet. In this video, I'll show you how to reset your car's ECU without using any tools or scanner. Yes, you can do this at home, right now. Hey everyone, today we're doing a full ECU reset that can often fix problems like Check engine light, traction control light, ABS light, power loss or rough idle, transmission jerks, and all without spending a dime. First, pop the hood and disconnect the negative battery terminal using a wrench or your hand if it's tool free. Wait at least 10 to 15 minutes. This lets all capacitors in the ECU fully discharge. Next, while the battery is disconnected, press and hold the brake pedal for 10 to 15 seconds. This drains any leftover power from the system. Reconnect the battery terminal tightly. Now, depending on your car. If your car has a key, insert it and turn it to the on position, but don't start the engine. If your car has a start, stop button, press the start button without pressing the brake pedal to enter the on. Run mode dashboard lights should turn on, but engine stays off. Leave it like this for about 30 seconds. This helps the ECU relearn basic sensor positions. Now start the car. Let it idle for 5 minutes without turning anything on. No AC, no radio. The ECU is relearning idle and fuel trim settings. For best results, take a short 10-minute drive. Accelerate gently. This helps the ECU adapt to driving conditions. And that's it. You've just reset your car's ECU. No tools, no scanner. If your lights are still on, there may be a deeper issue that needs a diagnostic scan. Hit the like button if this helped you, subscribe for more DIY car fixes, and comment below what warning light you want help with next.